Across Europe's non-heterosexual society, 93,000 people were questioned about their experiences of hate crimes and discrimination. In the last five years, more than a quarter had been attacked or threatened with violence. Worryingly for the authorities, more than half said they didn't even bother reporting the attacks because they didn't believe it would make any difference. At school, two out of three pupils who completed the study said they tried to hide or disguise the fact they were gay. There is significant disparity in gay rights laws depending on which European nation you're in. In France, gay marriage was eventually legalised less than a month ago. In Portugal on Friday, Parliament will be debating a draft legislation on gay adoption. Both of those rights have been allowed in the Netherlands for more than a decade. Queen Maxima came to celebrate the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. This is Queen Maxima's first big public engagement since her husband Wilhelm Alexander became king. It's Maxima's vocal support of gay rights, which is one of the things which has so endeared her to this nation and gained her such admiration in a country which has a tradition associated with being one of the most gay-friendly countries in the world. We were the first country that introduced same-sex marriage, but we also see that we still have a lot of problems we face. For example, we still have youngsters that are confronted with bullying at school, and we have gays uh, that have to leave their community because they're punished or, you know, they are bullied by neighbors. 300 politicians and specialists have come to The Hague to talk preemptive action and protection and try to find ways to stop people from being attacked or discriminated against on the basis of their sexuality on the streets of The Hague and beyond. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in The Hague.